What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to fix your PlayStation 4 if it won't go into safe mode. Let's get right into this. If your PlayStation 4 will not enter safe mode, there could be a bigger issue with your PlayStation 4. But before we get into the bigger issues and the more expensive things to check, why not check some of the easier, cheaper options first. So normally how to enter safe mode, you would completely turn off your PlayStation 4. Once it is completely turned off, you are going to press and hold the power button for about 7 seconds. Immediately after you press and hold the power button, you'll hear one beep. Once you hear the second beep, then you can take your finger off of the power button and it should be launching into the safe mode. But obviously, if you're watching this video, you already know how you're supposed to enter safe mode. It's just not working for you and that's what we're going to be trying to fix today. To troubleshoot this issue, first try a different HDMI cable. Sometimes it might be a faulty cable or a weak cable that is causing an issue. If you replace the HDMI cable that you're using with a different one and it works, great. If not, check some of these other steps. You'll want to completely turn off your PlayStation 4 once again, but this time you're going to disconnect all of the cables and wait about 20 to 30 minutes before reconnecting the cables and attempting it again. By unplugging the power cables and waiting the 20 to 30 minutes, this this is a soft reset that you can do on the PlayStation 4 and hopefully it does fix the issue. After waiting the 20 to 30 minutes, all you're going to do is plug the PS4 back in with the power cable and try to get into safe mode once again. Unfortunately, if your PlayStation 4 still will not enter safe mode, there is likely a bigger reason behind why it is not doing so and that is likely down to the actual hard drive in the PlayStation 4. In most cases that I've seen, people that for the easy fixes did not work for them once they replace their existing hard drive with a new one, their PlayStation 4 is now working properly. But remember, you don't want to go crazy with your hard drive. Most PS4s can only handle up to two terabytes. If you want more storage than that, then I'd recommend getting an external hard drive like I have, which is a three terabyte, but I think you can get them a lot higher than that right now. Now, hopefully for you, the easy fixes worked and you didn't have to replace the hard drive. Most people in my experience, after unplugging it and waiting the 20 to 30 minutes and plugging it back in doing the soft reset most of the time that does work and you can enter safe mode once again however like I already mentioned if you can't it likely is a hard drive issue either it's corrupted or there's something else wrong with the hard drive by replacing it your ps4 should be able to work properly once again I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you guys fix your PlayStation 4 I'm gonna leave this video here please take care peace